Hi, everybody. Welcome to Boondocking for Jesus. This is Christina, and this is my kitchen organization um, video. I wanted to bring this to you because I am the one who mainly cooks in our RV. And so I've had some questions. How do you cook in such a small space? So I've been organizing and reorganizing. We have been boondocking now for about two months and I think I have rearranged this space probably every other week. But I'm at a place now that I have found some items that really have enhanced this space, the counter space, the little teeny tiny counter space um, to make it functional. So welcome boondockers, welcome family and friends. And you get to come inside our RV and see what we are doing in the kitchen to organize. This is just a quick picture of the corner of the RV. And I'm going to come up to showing you a picture of our spice cabinet. Now I've purchased some things at Big Lots <clears throat> and uh, on the internet with Amazon. And so I'll try to put those links into the comments. So here is this wire rack. I think it is nine by 14, but you can find them at Big Lots for a whole three bucks. Definitely worth the purchase. Walmart is like 11. Same with Bed Bath & Beyond. I went to a lot of places to find the best price for the rack and see what would work. I bought one and ended up buying many of them. So you can see that I can put smaller spices on the bottom and I can put oils and vinegars on the top. We're coming into the dishes cabinet. So this cabinet is really an open space. It goes about four feet long. And right here you see a corner rack for the dishes. It separates plates and bowls. And I was actually able to put some glasses up there for the time being. They usually sit with those other glasses right there on the right. Uh, but we love these racks right there underneath those glasses is that wire rack once again that I purchased at Big Lots uh, and it fits perfect in there and there is a divider on the outside of this shelf but it's continual there's no dividers inside so you can put multiple racks side by side in there. Here we have our coffee cups our mason jars and it provides a smaller space underneath and then a taller space on top so you can have uh, a little bit more space. Our coffee cups usually go underneath and um and it goes on. So here we go. We use uh, the end part for our pantry. Over to the right, you can't really see. It goes on for another foot, 12 inches. And that's where we keep our bulk beans and stuff. And I have to get on a chair and get in there and get it. But you don't get into your bulk beans that often. We get to use the things we use the most right here in front of us. So it's just right above my head and right above the countertop. I had a hard time with our refrigerator and with condensation with our fruits and vegetables so i went on to amazon and i found these hanging bags they did not have great reviews but i thought for 10 bucks why not give it a try so i went ahead and ordered them and they have a big enough hole that you can get smaller potatoes and even a larger one sideways in there uh, right here these potatoes probably about two and a half three pounds i would imagine uh, there's just two of us so we don't need to put 10 pounds of anything in these bags because it would go bad before we could really eat it. So in this one, we have apples and pears, and it's uh, on any wall space in the kitchen area that was free. So we used uh, commando hooks to uh, the wall to hang these. And you just alcohol the wall and put that commando strip to it, and it actually holds... Uh, probably three to, to five pounds. So you can see that these bags are actually big enough for squash. And this squash is probably my favorite squash for the fall. You just slice them, put them upside down, put them in the oven, and uh, they're delicious. So um, that's how we did the fruits and vegetables. I love bananas. Norberto loves bananas. And we hate bruised bananas. So we found, I've used this banana hook before and I went on to Amazon to find another one. It collapses and folds up when it's not in use. So now we have the bananas off the counter, which gives us more space. Here we get to see the shoes in order. Um, that I got those shoe racks from Amazon as well. 
and a full look at our kitchen here. So you can see the hanging bags up against the wall by the sink. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you this is our trash bag. This is our trash center. So underneath the sink I can use for more storage. This little doodad I found on Amazon. I thought I'd give it a try. We don't buy trash bags. I just use the grocery sacks and I take those in to work. So now you get a full picture of how my kitchen is organized. I have a little bit of counter space and I can cook um, and, and dice and, and have that space I need to have those fine dinners that we like to have. So there you go, my kitchen in a nutshell as it is right now. Maybe this inspires you to organize your kitchen and you can see how we live in our RV. So please subscribe to our channel, Boondocking for Jesus. That is gonna be a big help for us and we can hear your comments. Please like our page, give us some comments, feedback, and most, most importantly, pray for us on our journey. Thanks for watching.